with an old uncertainty rearing its head once more, Dolly turns to the only ones she can trust. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheers. I met Dave about 10 years ago when um, his band was playing at a bar, and it was kind of love at first sight. We made a family together, and, you know, we raised our kids together, and we had the same values and everything, and, and you know, I, I, you know, his kids are my kids, you know. And now that the last one's off to college, things seem to have changed. I, I don't know. Dave just seems different. It, it just seems like he, he doesn't want me there when he's doing his thing. He wants just to do his own thing. It just, I don't know, we, we're just not close anymore. I came home one night and there was a wine glass sitting on the counter and Dave doesn't drink wine, but there was like what looked like, you know, lipstick on the side of the glass. And he actually told me, he said that, that he was eating Cheetos. And that's what was on the side of the glass. He stays up all night writing songs and, you know, it doesn't come to bed until the morning. I, I don't understand, too. I mean, he just seems to just be separating from me. I really don't know what I'm going to do if I find out that he is cheating. I really hope that he is not because this is just going to devastate me. I, I have absolutely no idea how I'm going to rebuild my life, uh, how to rebuild my life without Dave. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheater's Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Dave Gibbons, age 42. A salesman suspected of targeting single women with his personal commodity. Investigation Day 2. Cheaters investigators, after receiving vital information from Ms. Bailey, acquire access to the lot surrounding the suspect's office. Well after closing time, Dolly's long-term other half, Dave Gibbons, is spotted locking up for the night. While walking to his car, detectives observe their mark with an unknown female. Gibbons escorts his friend into the passenger seat of his car and then departs for their next destination. Mobile units close in on the suspect's Porsche as it turns into the parking lot of a nearby bar. The two walk inside and sidle up to the bar. Gibbons eventually stands behind his date and begins to rub her shoulders. She seems to enjoy the attention, allowing the suspect to run his hands over parts of her body not usually included in a standard massage. Gibbons eventually pays the tab and the two head back to the car. Mobile units follow the couple back to Gibbons' office and capture a romantic exchange. The two kiss for a number of minutes before they call it a night, and Gibbons returns to the home he shares with Dolly. Investigation Day 4. With the kids away at college and Dolly attending night school, Gibbons takes advantage of his alone time by going out to the bar from previous surveillance. He parks and walks to an awaiting vehicle. The suspect invites his companion, whose identity remains withheld, inside for a drink. A background check on Gibbons' friend reveals that she is a recent hire at the company the suspect works for. The pair stay inside for a brief period of time before emerging and going back to Gibbons' residence. Cheater's agents scramble for information, eventually catching the duo on the back patio. Detectives conceal themselves behind the Gibbons-Bailey household while they capture the suspect offering his guest a blanket for warmth and a few tunes for entertainment. After another half hour, perimeter units catch sight of the suspect bidding Arrivederci to his admirer for the remainder of the evening. Investigation Day 6. Knowing that Dolly will be away from home until late, detectives continue surveillance of the Gibbons Bailey home. A familiar automobile pulls into the driveway, and Gibbons' consort makes her way to the front door. She rings the doorbell and is greeted with a kiss and a cocktail before making their way to the backyard for a dip in the hot tub. The two strip to their underwear and enter the water. They frolic for a while before things heat up a little more. 
An incoming phone call from Dolly causes Gibbons to get out of the hot water, literally and figuratively. With all the loose ends tied up, Gibbons invites his house guest into the bedroom. Detectives end the investigation and begin compiling the data for Dolly. Coming up, the confrontation. Having captured the suspect's double dealings, Cheaters is ready to divulge the results. Anxious about the findings, Dolly finds her inner strength to view the truth. Dolly, thanks for being with us tonight. Thank I know you. it's been tough lately, hasn't it? Yes, it finals, has. Finals, you've suspected things, and tonight we finally may be able to answer some of those questions. Okay. As we set out early in our investigation, we had operatives outside of Dave's place of employment. Now, on this evening, he exits with a young lady. They both get into his car and were followed until they arrived at a bar. Before they go in, we see a brief gesture between the two of them. But after some time inside, we can clearly see that Dave provides some impromptu massage therapy, but his services don't seem to stop there. He cashes out, they go back to his job site, and before she departs, they spend another few moments in an amorous embrace. On this evening, we had our detectives outside of your home, but tonight, Dave brazenly has this woman come right to your house. There's a greeting at the door. They're outside. We were able to get around back and see them in the hot tub. There's a point where Dave receives a phone call, runs inside. After Dave wraps up his business on the phone, Dave comes back out to the hot tub, acts in tow, strums out a few more tunes, and now after spending a few more moments at the hot tub, through the benefit of the interior surveillance cameras that we had you place inside your home. We capture both of them retiring into your bedroom. Typically, this is the evening that Dave plays at, at a local club, isn't it? Yes. Let me contact our detective. Okay. And see if he can give me an idea what Dave's up to right now. Okay. Hey, uh, we just finished up with a briefing right now. Do you have anything on your end? No, he is, uh, he is at the bar, and she's there. Okay. Um, and he's playing his gig right now. All right. He's at the bar, and just as we thought might happen, the young lady has arrived there as well. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, we're going to load up and head on over. All right. See you in a second. All right. Do you want to continue? Mm-hmm. All right. Come with me. When you look back now, does everything start to fit into place with the information? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That you have. Definitely. All right, yeah, here we are. And there's our guy. How many entrances are here? Just one. With Just the, the one entrance? Yeah. Everybody out, everybody out. Go, go, stay with him. Go, stay with him. Right, hang on, hang on. Go, 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 go. What are you doing, mother? Huh? What the are you doing, huh? What the are you doing? 
Whoa, whoa, you gotta huh? stop it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You better stop it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Who is she? 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 You busted. No. Who you are. What is going on? I've got a video of your ass. Yes, I do. Coming up, the conclusion. He's at the bar. The young lady has arrived there as well. Really? What the f are you doing, huh? Whoa, you gotta huh? stop it. What is going on? Whoa, 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 watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. No. Hey, man. Hey, get in there, get in there, get in there. Get in there, get in there. Get in there. Is what it is. Yes. You're the one that did this. You're the one that brought the on. No, this is crap, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, what that, happened in there? That's his girlfriend. He has a girlfriend? Ladies and gentlemen, Dolly, everybody. Serious? Are you serious? Serious? How long have you been seeing him? Probably about five months now. Do you know that they've been together for ten years? Has he told you that? Nobody told me they were done. Why don't you tell him everything you've been doing? And my house, man, that I pay for. I haven't for. been doing anything. My car, they make payments on your face. Yeah. Huh? Just say your sorry. Yes, just say your sorry. No one's mad at you. Especially if you don't know what's been going on, but he's been lying to the both of you. I feel sorry for her. Can I get a beer? Can I? <laughs> yeah, I want a shot too. Who's gonna buy me a shot? Who is gonna buy me a shot? Where'd he go? Where did she go? They're outside. Huh? There he goes now. Let's go see if we can find it. Watch out. Is that her? Yeah, is she? That's her, isn't it? Yeah, so I'm what the is going on? You can have him. I don't want him. Did you know about this? Did you know about me? Oh, hell no. Oh, you is that true? Me. Oh, you want me. Oh, yeah, I really want you. Who the hell, the hell else is going to be all you? And I don't want him. What do you have to say, Dave? I don't have anything to say. Guess what? Well, I mean, did, did you not I expect big, that this I would got, eventually happen? I have a big statement for you. Sex once a month does not a relationship make. Why would I want it more than that when no. it sucks? Come punch me, bitch. God. Well, if you were... Ten if, years, if man. You were I'd happy, rather kid to college and drop oh, his ass off. Right. Why don't you be mature about it? Why don't you be mature about it? Why don't you Where? just devastate the whole thing, bring me to the ground. Well, yeah. how, so you were acting mature. What do you think then? you did to the whole family? So that doesn't prevaricate well, your, the situation with this moral ambiguity, it seems. I'm sorry, man. What? Okay, the, how is she, she being immature when you're the one that's lying? Okay. Isn't that a little There's mature? a little bit more to it than that, dude. Well, if you were unhappy... A lot more to okay, it boy, than that. If you were unhappy, right, why didn't right, you just so get deep, out? I, you know, that's what I was trying to do. Are you serious? You didn't know? That. No, I told you Oh, I'm going to jump off a clip. If you ever do you want him? No, no, I don't, man. I hope you don't either. I hope you have more respect I'll for yourself than that. So this was the easier option. You know what? what? She could have been... What did he tell you when you were in my house the other night? What did he tell you? That's your house? We've been together for 10 years. Yes, man, At I'm some still point, there. she needs to be more of a wife and oh less God. of a mother. Mother couldn't communicate that to her. Tried child. several times. Yeah, but you're an adult. I know I'm an adult. How so, do you try something? Really? You do it or you I don't. I was in your house is in my name. Oh yeah. You said a decorator did it. 
Figures, man. You were man enough to go around behind her back, but now you're Are telling in, me that you can't you communicate with it? Do we want to have a little counseling it's session? It's a little obvious. It's just sit logic. Do a little couple counseling with me and her tomorrow night? Look, that's not going to work with me. <laughs> it's just obvious. <laughs> what are you doing then? I mean, I, mean, I don't know what to say about it. It's like, do what, is this it's mature? Like, is it's this like, mature? 50 year old was listening. Hey, it's been 30 years. You still haven't made it. You think you're going to make it now? Huh? I'm done. Thank you. Uh huh. Yeah, thank you. Good way to put it in thank you. into it. Yeah, way don't come home because you don't live there anymore. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Right. Can yeah. And don't try to pick up the Porsche either, man, because that's in my name, too. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah. We'll see about that. I'm done. I wanted to get up there and sing. Can I still sing up there with you? I guess we're over. Is this done? Great job. Great job. You did a great, you made a great night, man. On stage, I mean. I don't understand if you're in a relationship and you're that unhappy or whatever, you know, why you just don't get separated, you know? Why why you would stay with that person and then cheat. I don't understand at all. Where do you think you'll go from here? I don't know how to tell the kids. It's definitely over. He's got to go. <laughs> but now meet Tatiana Thompson, a nurse who needs assistance in gaining the truth. Afraid that her schedule allows her lover to stray, Tatiana requests assistance from the professionals at Cheaters. Me and Ty just has been together for two years, and I met her at Starbucks uh, Coffee, and she's the best woman in the world to me she has been so sweet and nice but I kind of feel like that she's cheating on me but she denies it and I just want to know the truth Tigest Lindsay age 40 a babysitter accused of calling another woman baby cheaters dispatches a team to watch the home the suspect shares with Tatiana the suspect leaves home Cheater's operatives follow the woman to an unknown residence. A mysterious woman exits the house as Lindsay arrives. The unknown woman climbs into the vehicle. Lindsay drives to an auto parts store. The pair of women goes inside the establishment. A short time later, Lindsay and her friend emerge. The unknown lady opens the car door. Lindsay thanks her with a kiss. I'll be like, no, something is wrong. Do you love me, Tigers? Yes, Tatiana, I love you very much. Are you cheating on me, uh, Tigers? No, Tatiana, I would never do that to hurt you. But I just don't believe Tigers at all. Our work hours are totally different. But when we do have time to be together, she's mean, she want to start an argument, grab her keys and go like always run away from her problem instead of talking. She don't even answer my calls. And I know deep down inside, Tigers are cheating on me, and I do not cheat on her. I love her with all my heart. Cheaters investigators tail Lindsay and her partner back to the unfamiliar neighborhood. The two women go inside the companion's house. Sometime later, the suspect returns alone to her car. The cheater's team follows Lindsay for the short drive back to the house she shares with a loving Tatiana. I don't know what to do. One day she loved me, the next day she acts like she hates me. And that's why I feel that there is someone else. I really do. But if she's cheating on me, I'm gone. I'm out of her life for good. We was planning on having a family, getting us a new house, but everything's changed now, and I need to know if Tigers is cheating on me because I really love her. The squad of cheaters operatives sticks with the stakeout of Tatiana and Lindsay's house. The alleged suspect leaves home. Lindsay drives to the home seen previously and picks up her companion. Shadowed by the Cheaters mobile unit, Lindsay drives to a nearby tire shop. Cheaters PIs watch as the suspect and her friend enter the building. The couple waits as the employees take care of business. Sometime later, 
the pair gets back into the vehicle. Covertly chased by cheaters, the couple returns to the companion's residence. Lindsay accompanies her paramour, now identified as Shonice Caldwell, into her home. After an extended period, the suspect materializes alone. Cheater's investigators trail Lindsay back to the home she shares with Tatiana. Cheater's private eyes sit on the stakeout of Tatiana and Lindsay's residence. True to her routine, the suspect leaves the home. Cheater's detectives follow the now familiar route to Caldwell's residence. The new girlfriend walks down the sidewalk to Lindsay's car. The suspect drives across town to arrive at a restaurant. The suspect and her mistress hold hands while they enter the Chinese buffet restaurant. Inside, the two women settle down to a meal. After the meal, Caldwell and her virtuous companion return to the car. Cheater's detectives follow the pair to a loan shop. Caldwell enters the establishment. After a short while, the suspect and her lover leave the loan shop. Lindsay and her date return to Caldwell's residence. As the suspect walks her secret woman to the door, Lindsay pauses long enough to kiss Caldwell. The two enter the house. Unaware that Cheaters now has the goods on the affair, the suspect nonchalantly returns to the home she shares with the distraught Tatiana. Coming up, the confrontation. Now that the duplicitous actions of the suspect are documented, Cheaters calls on Tatiana. With a lump in her throat, Tatiana prepares herself for the worst. Tatiana, the first thing I'd like to say is thank you for coming out today. Uh, I understand you got a lot going on right now. Mm -hmm. Before I show you, I just want to forewarn you that some of the things you're about to see, they may upset you, they may bring up a lot of different feelings, but the main reason is, is to get you the truth. I don't want to know the truth. <laughs> All right, Tatiana, are well, you prepared to see what we've come up with? Yes, sir. All right. We'll begin our investigation outside of your residence. That's when we see Ty just get into her vehicle. Well, she leaves your home and she arrives at this residence and picks up this woman in the red shirt. You recognize her? That's my best friend. That's your best friend? Yes. What's That's her? That's Shanice. Shanice? So yes. You, so you know that woman? Yes, I do. How close are you two? I've been knowing Shanice for like 12 years. Okay, well, they go into an auto parts store together and sometime later they come out. That's when we see Shanice oh kiss Ty just as she opens the door for her. Oh my God. Listen, I understand this is really, really hard to watch, but the only reason why I'm showing you this is to get you what you want is the truth. Yes. So you can stop wondering what's going on in your relationship with this other woman who's not giving you everything she's telling you. Right. Ty just gets into the vehicle, they walk up together to her house where Ty just drops her off. After dropping her off, she walks back to her vehicle. I cannot believe this. And returns home. Never thought in a million years it was Shanice. All right, I'll tell you what. I'm going to show you the rest of this. I promise you we'll get through this, and we're going to move on and go confront these two, all right? Okay. Moving forward in our investigation, Tatiana, on this day, we're outside of your residence. That's when we see Shanice walk out dressed presentably. She gets into the vehicle and she leaves. Uh, uh. She picks up Shanice from her residence and they arrive at a restaurant. You see the two of them walking together, oh holding God. hands. That's when internal surveillance catches the two of them having a meal together. Sometime later, after finishing their meal, they walk out. Shanice has got her arm actually around Tigus. She opens up the car door for her. They then drive and arrive at a title office location. During this time, she receives a phone call. What you're about to hear is the audio from that conversation, Tatiana. Tell me if you can remember this day, let alone this conversation. Hi, baby. Hey, how you doing? Missing you? Uh, you just told me that. I miss you, too. You keep on calling, and I tell you I'm busy. I'm going to call you when I get through with this call. But OK, I just want you to know that I love you. I love you too. And let me call you this time. I 
I'll call you because he's getting all frustrated because he's trying to show me different things on the car that I need to get fixed. Okay, I'm sorry. I apologize. All right, I love you. I love you, too. All right, bye. She brushed me off. Saying there's all these problems. Has this car even ever had any problems? No, that's a spanking damn near brand new car. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks brand new. I don't see any issues with this. It's oh almost my like they're, God. after leaving that place and her lying to on that phone call, they return to Shanice's residence. It's when the two of them embrace in front of her house with a kiss. And that's when Shanice leads Ty just into the home. Sometime later, she comes out, gets into her vehicle, and she leaves. Tatiana, you know what you've seen. We know where they are. They're at a car wash together. Why don't we go ahead and get on the road so we can get them in time? You ready? Let's go. I'm ready. Right this way, please. Ryan, right, we pull up. When you see them, I'll follow you, all right? Okay. We'll have a detective on the scene, but you see them first, just go. Back right hand corner. There's the car right there. Right here. You ready? Everybody out. Is that right there? What's going on? What's going on? Why you up here? You why are you me? up here? We've been friend. together two years. Okay, and what? You've what? been my best friend. You oh, were my best friend. You should have been handling your business. You should have been handling your business. You should have been handling your business. You were my best friend. friend. You were my best friend. friend. You were my best friend. You were my best friend. You were my best friend. Coming up next, the conclusion. Red shirt, you recognize her? That's my best friend. Why are you ever been together two years? Okay, Why, you got you Why you got me friends? Friends? Why you got me doing that, my mother? Hey! Tigers, can I talk to you? What you happened? You should have been handling your business. What, what are you going to do, Tigers? Who's this? That's my girlfriend. That's your girlfriend? Who's this? Yeah, is this you two spending time together right here? I got a question. Who's this? You guys going to house together? Yeah. Is that you two right there? Yeah. That don't mean nothing, no. That don't Sharing mean a meal together? That don't mean nothing. What about you guys kissing? No, we, that don't mean nothing. Going into the house together? That ain't you? Yeah, that's me. Is that you? Why are you bringing these people out here? Why? Why are you bringing these people out here? So Ty, just can I talk to you for a minute over here? What? What, what exactly happened? Why would you do this to her? Because she ain't taking care of business at home. You're not taking care of business at home? So what happened? So what happened? You won't get no more of that Ty, just, oh, you want all of this, honey. You want this, honey. You want this. You want this. I can't believe you this. We're just friends. We can all be together. Controlling both of you now. Cause this good for both of them. Let, let, let them talk for a minute. Let them talk for a minute. Can I talk to you and ask you a couple questions? So how long exactly was this going on? Man, I've been messing with her off and on. 
Uh, you gotta elaborate though. What is messing with her? Sleeping with her. Sleeping with her? But she's not my girl or nothing. So they both they both can come get in the bed. We ain't even gotta go through all this. You gonna do all this? You got these people following me like this? You got these people following me? Why? Tatiana, why? You should have told Tatiana the truth, Ty. Why you didn't tell Tatiana the truth? Serious. It don't you mean me with my Why best you go, friend, man? We'll talk, we'll talk about it later. You're cheating on me okay, with my best friend, it don't friend, matter. Tiges. It's all right. They both can come get in the bed. Well, let's tell them that then. Everybody gonna be on TV for some bull. Hey, you going for some bull? Tess, what do you want to do? Because you got to give her, you got to give her some answers. Both of them. Why did you kept me with both of them? It's been done before. Why did you kept me with both of them? I need you to hush. For real, I need you to hush. No, no, let me handle this. Let me handle this. Move, move. I'm not going away. I enjoy doing what I'm doing. So instead of going through all this, why wouldn't you just tell her that in the first place? We can do all this. She a sweet person. I heard her. You don't think you. Well, I ain't no shoes happening around. She warned you before you about us. Matter. You think she was joking? Go, man. Go. To the mother oh, go. Let's load up. Come on, Tatiana, this way. Let's go. Can y'all move out the way, please? I feel this is like a dream, a joke, but it's reality. I feel mean, it's just, oh my God, I cannot believe this. We have car dirty and see the watch, right? All in South Dallas. You obviously see how they feel. You know, they're taking this like this is, this is yeah, she not serious. Yeah, she told me we could so. talk about it. She's home. pushing that other girl around too, like she doesn't even care. So, what do you want to do? I forgive her, but I'm not going to be with her. All right. Coming up next. Nice 